I'm Rod Hunter. I've been in Logan. I came to school here in 1978. Large, and, uh, uh, the university had a large um, agricultural, obviously, but they also had a large engineering and uh, international flavor to it. There was uh, um, a large group of uh, students that were here for that because one, it was inexpensive, and the school itself was uh, had a, a lot of credibility for their inter their uh, engineering uh, engineering program. And it was fun. It was a. It was a. It was just a, a real. Um, it was a good, fun university atmosphere, social atmosphere, both academically and the social part of it was just a lot of fun. It's a good market. It's a great place to build. Land prices are reasonable. Um, construction costs are good. Home prices are very, very reasonable for what the market is around the state, even in the country. Uh, it's it's a good place. It's a really good place to build a home or or buy a home. The job market makes it a little ch more challenging here. Um, there's not as many jobs as uh, high high paying jobs or skilled professional positions as they need. We need uh, we need that to, to improve a little bit. In the so, uh, it's a very, very wide array of folks from the university. That that's uh, you know obviously the largest employer. Um, a lot of specialty companies, um, technical Toyers companies in the valley that we draw from. And there's a lot of folks that drive outside the valley that go to ATK or Auto Leave over the hill. I do know people that work in a lot of people that work in Salt Lake City, but it's the quality of life when you get out of the kind of the the congestion and the chaos that that Salt Lake. Uh, offers, although Logan's getting its own dimension of chaos now. When I moved here in 78 to go to school, it was wide open, it was very rural, I mean it was a, it was a wide open area. There was downtown and the university and, and uh, a lot, there's just a lot more people here. You never would have expected, you know, to go over the 100,000 mark back in the 70s. You never even would have thought about it.